Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. Well, here we are in the triple eclipse passage or passageway, or sometimes it's called a window, to, to do with solstice, summer solstice 2020, and two e other eclipses. It's just very dramatic. The light switches and changes as uh, timelines are merged. I've been feeling a little like I'm a young chicken molting and changing to larger feathers. <laughs> and my sleep patterns are very unusual. Um, maybe some of you who are light workers and healers and so forth will, will identify with that. And, uh, and others of you will probably have great tales to tell as time goes on. Um, I've been putting off talking to you about about a notion that the the multi-temporal notion that light workers and healers and others sometimes have channelers have regarding current events and it's because the events are current that I'm likely to to run into a sticky wicket so I'll try to be brief and uh, for those of you that are versed in multi-temporality and multi-dimensionality uh, I hope this will be sufficient uh, as you may know the nation and the world face what is termed in the mass media the COVID crisis um, the coronavirus pandemic and almost unanimously in the news this is viewed as a, a great catastrophe to which we as humankind must rise and with which we must face with courage and 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 faith and 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 we praise those in the community that that assist at, at risk to their own health in healing others. And, uh, and that's true, in a way. But there's another way of looking at it too, for those that like that way better. I, for instance, I see all around me in Los Angeles, people on very different timelines from my own, very different. There are people experiencing fear and anger, which are hell world scenarios. People extremely anxious over property and health. Um, and this, this the extent of their negative feelings determines which worlds they find themselves in, whether, whether hell worlds or purgatory worlds. That depends on the density of the negative emotions. So we have, um, we have, as I mentioned, other people who are experiencing faith and hope and the desire to be of selfless service to humankind. And those people are offering to the people experiencing the other kinds of emotions a chance to, to suddenly switch uh, dim dimensions from negative to positive. So those people who say are, are ill or fearful of being ill have a chance to meet uh, these other people who who turn them so maybe for the first time in their lives from from fear and anger and and anxiety and all those things to the notions of faith hope charity joy and and abundance you know it's amazing so so there is this opportunity right now to choose the negative dimensions, the hell worlds, the purgatory worlds, or closer to the heaven worlds, or higher, 
the fifth dimension, the sixth dimension, on up to the twelfth dimension or higher to the seventy-second dimension, positive. So there's a great opportunity here on Earth. From the stance of, of the light worker who believes in multi-dimensionality and multi-temporality. It's very, very weird because I'll be driving down the street and I'll be encountering waves of energy, uh, temporal waves and dimensional waves that keep uh, stirring and changing to the extent where I need to stop, sleep for just a moment, nap for five minutes and suddenly recalibrate to whatever uh, time and dimension exists at that locus in space and and then change up change up we can change up to to the higher dimensions or we can find a spot with the higher dimensions and the higher timelines someplace where people for instance have been meditating on their heart energy or singing God's praises with their heart energy that kind of a place here in Los Angeles creates uh, an oasis of, of, of Christ consciousness through which can funnel, as I spoke of from yesterday's tape, through which can funnel in a vortical motion energy from the galactic center, Christ consciousness, Buddhic consciousness, down to earth and through earth uh, so that the people can experience, perhaps for the first time, perhaps for the any number of times, Christed in Buddhic consciousness. It's really a rare time on earth. Then there are quite a few people, according to the mass media, who have chosen to pass on at this time during the COVID crisis. Um, from the stance of, of light worker, from my own stance, I feel that these people have, their souls have opted for an incarnation that teaches the lessons of soul evolution without, deal, without the, the incarnation dealing with the COVID uh, crisis, you see. So, so, so those people who have chosen to pass on are looking forward to soul lessons in a different context, in a different incarnation. Uh, so it's all working out according to the divine plan and according to the the free will hopes of the eternal soul of each human being on earth. From a stance of a light worker, I feel that many people here on earth have chosen with their souls. Their souls have chosen to place their awareness on a different timeline. And that decision to exist on perhaps a speeded up or perhaps a slowed down timeline has apparently resulted in many people dropping form in this timeline. Those people still exist. They are still eternal souls in, an, in another awareness timeline, you see. So this is a time of great change and great choice in that regard. Also, with regard to my own self, as a light worker, I see passing before me on the astral plane all kinds of alternate timelines and these timelines are changing up to higher timelines all kinds of thoughts and um, emotions that that existed in non-chosen timelines or in chosen timelines in the recent past are are blending upwards into the higher light you know so that those thoughts and and those emotions will no longer um, pull the my body of light 
into negativity uh, in that regard. That's what I feel. The body of light itself is becoming far more radiant because of the light that's coming in through this triple eclipse passageway. <sighs> there is one other thing uh, to do with the people that feel negative or fearful or anxious or angry regarding the current events. Uh, the feeling I have is that people feel they've been dragged into these current circumstances and without their choice and that they must burden themselves with living through the what is about to unfold in this timeline and in this dimension in which they find themselves. Our, our root and our beingness and our becomingness have to do with the reflection that we are of the divine nature of God, you know? And so each hologram is a separate hologram created by God in alignment with the soul's purpose, which in the best case scenario is in alignment with the will of God and the heart of God and the mind of God. So I feel. So, but the truth of the issue for people who are reluctant to go through the current unfolding mass media scenario, I feel to be that their souls their eternal souls chose this timeline that they're in so that the choices would be available to them of this moment. The vast choices of this moment. The choices of positive mind and heart and soul. The choices of aligning with divine intent or or the choices of the media, which have to do with lack of free will and power over and poverty in the world and, and so on. You know what I mean? So the soul chose, but the human mind and heart and will don't remember quite yet that there was a free will choice to experience these events, to, to have the choice to meditate, to, to change the diet and make it more pure, to, to go for walks, to be with family and to strengthen those bonds with family, and to find creative ways to overcome the issue of em, lack of employment, you know, to help each other out. These were these were choices that the soul made for a good reason, and that is uh, movement to higher density is not going to occur until these things take place. It's amazing, really, that so many souls have made that choice, and so many souls don't remember making it. <laughs> we have so many things going on at the same time at this time. Uh, uh, we have the people that are turning from despair and sadness, grief and anger and anxiety to, to the experiences of, uh, that are, are po positive emotions and positive thoughts often aided by, by other human beings who help them to pull them up from the depths of despair and, and from the negative emotions. So those people are learning to, to move from the negative worlds, from the negative dimensions to the positive dimensions. That's one thing. Then there are the people that are capable of multi-diming and multi-timing. They're capable of multi-dimensional and multi-temporal surfing. And those people have 
amazing opportunities today as they move from place to place or even sitting in one place during meditation of changing, making changes in their own body of light so that it becomes more perfect so that their experience of multi-temporality and multi-dimensionality is more uplifted in all regards so that their choices are more more closely aligned with the infinite. Those people who make those choices are doing so while staying in form now during, during this time, staying in the current timeline or in another timeline that's an awareness timeline that involves the same uh, COVID crisis. Then there are the people that decided to opt out. They don't like the COVID crisis and they're moving on to a new incarnation. And there may be many other things happening at this time that I haven't quite figured out right now. It's as if all humankind is that, that young chicken that is molting its feathers and changing, changing the pin feathers are coming in and it's going to have large feathers with which it can fly pretty soon. That's how I see it. We're all, we're all molting and changing and becoming quite glorious. This is a light worker signing off. I hope no one takes offense at, at my ideas about the COVID crisis and I hope you will each and every one of you find your way free and find your way through and and find yourself in the highest and greatest and most beautiful of new realities here on earth. God bless you all. Keep you safe.